Welcome to WestgateWorks.com Bronze Pit Welder Pellets How They're Made The first part of this video shows a really desperate and labor intensive way to make individual pellets. It begins by flattening 1 16th inch diameter filler rod on an anvil with a hammer. The flattened rod is cut lengthwise with metal shears and pliers to make smaller pieces of metal. The thin strips are then cut into short pieces using sun cutter pliers. The chips are kept in a small container. In some cases, the chips are used as is. The chips are made into pellets by placing them on a piece of ceramic and melting each chip into a ball with a small oxyacetylene torch. The flame should turn green at the edges to be sure the pellet is not oxidized. The pellets are scraped off the ceramic. All right, you've seen how to make pellets a really difficult and time-consuming way. A much faster and easier method is to use a plasma cutter and a barrel with water in the bottom for collecting the pellets. Here's the water. This plasma cutting was done using a thick piece of bronze with the air pressure set low. The bronze that hits the water is where pellets are made. Everything else is wasted splatter. Some pellets are flattened when they hit the water, but they are still usable. This plasma cutting was done using a thinner piece of bronze and the air pressure was set to medium. These are the results of the plasma cutting session using a thick piece of material and low air pressure. The dried pellets were sifted through a fine and coarse screen to separate them by size. There is a good amount of small, medium and large pellets with some very small pellets that are useless. And these are the results from the plasma cutting session using a thin piece of bronze and medium air pressure. The dried pellets were again sifted through fine and coarse screen to separate the pellets by size. Note that a larger amount of very small useless pellets, almost like dust, were produced. These results show that the thickness of the metal being cut and the air volume of the plasma cutter determines to a great extent the size of the resulting pellets. And pellets made by using a plasma cutter is a much more effective method than by making pellets by hand. Additional information about this bronze pit boiler can be found in the companion PDF file on the WestgateWorks.com tutorial page. We hope you enjoyed this video.